Man, the NFL just got caught slipping. The NFL is slipping, all right? My buddy just sent this to me. He lives in the Memphis area. This is a local news station, okay? The NFL script just got leaked in one of the weirdest and wildest ways I've ever seen in my life. I guess you could say conspiracy theory Matt is in the building, and it's been a while since we talked about some conspiracy theories on the channel. I think the last time we talked about one was, oh yeah, the Titanic submarine. And you guys seem to like it when we talk about conspiracy theories. I enjoy it myself, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me throw this in there as well. This isn't even a theory because I'm just reporting on the news as it came out. If this does happen, though, we're most definitely going to be talking about this situation again. So what I'm about to show you in this this video if it comes to light yeah you might want to come back to the channel in a couple of days and we're not doing no intro none of that i don't got time to waste you don't got time to waste either if you like content like this college football nfl sports in general consider subscribing we love to have you here if you don't like it don't subscribe it is what it is i'm here to show you a video that caught my attention i believe it was either six or seven days ago that's when i first saw it and i'm not gonna lie to you guys I didn't think too much about it. I thought it was fishy at the time, but I was like, eh, I'm gonna wait a little bit, hold off, and we'll make a video if some other things transpire. Because this video I'm about to show you that got leaked out, it was made before the most recent playoff games that happened last week. And for this video to be correct, last week, the 49ers had to win, and also, the Baltimore Ravens had to win. And if you've been keeping up with the NFL, you would know both of those things happen. 49ers won, and so the Ravens. And the funniest part about it is, when I saw this video, it wasn't even blowing up, it wasn't even viral, but now it somewhat is. And before I go any farther, I gotta share the video clip so you have some context, and you're gonna get my reaction to it again. I've already seen it, but I low-key forgot what was in it outside of what you're about to see. Man, the NFL just got caught slipping. The NFL is slipping, all right? My buddy just sent this to me. He lives in the Memphis area. This is a local news station, okay? Reba McIntyre, Usher, Post Malone are slated to perform at the Super Bowl. But look what it says. At San Francisco 49ers and Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl matchup on February 11th. Do we look dumb to you? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say to that. Just like the guy said, this wasn't on Sports Center or anything like that. This was on a local news station. I have so many different questions, but how does that even happen? I'm lost, I really am, and what makes it even more believable is the fact it was on a local news station. Yet again, I'm going to remind y'all, this video was posted over a week ago before last week's games. I mean, honestly. By the way, shout out to my boy Dantry. He just released a song called 90s Bills as well. It's on Spotify. It's pretty sick. But NFL. We started off by seeing the purple and the red, right? And that theory has just been circulating around social media from the beginning of the season. And then you throw that in our face. You have local news stations already saying the 49ers and Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl going into it. Man, I'll tell you what. If this Super Bowl does happen... We got to start questioning some things right now, ladies and gents. We got to start questioning some things. Sincerely. Okay, so there we have it. Shout out to him for the video. You see his username. Go follow him. And I don't think there's any questions about this. If this is going to happen, I believe it is. It's in the script. But hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, Timothy. Hold up, Bobby. Before you go to the comment section. Oh, man, that's crazy. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Take a look at this. Another video got leaked down on TikTok today of at a local grocery store they got, what is this? Yeah, cookie cake with the 49ers versus Ravens on it. Guys? Uh, <laughs> like, does nobody else think that's weird? This isn't in the same city, any of that, and yeah, you see it. How do you explain this? In the video of the 49ers versus the Ravens on the cookie cake, that one just came out. So that one's like, eh, you could kind of throw that to the side. But the first video I showed you, that was before they even won the games last week. And then you got the logo, like the guy was saying here, it's 49ers and Ravens themed. It's almost like they're trying to tell us, yeah, this is going to happen. Now, before I go on a complete rant and tangent, let me give you my two cents on the NFL being quote-unquote rigged. My entire life, I've always heard people get mad at their team for losing and say, oh my gosh, this is rigged, and I always thought it was the stupidest thing ever. Just take your L, quit being a sore loser. I've always tried debunking it when somebody says, oh, well, this is rigged. And what I'm about to say here may be slightly confusing, so please pay attention. I don't like the word rigged. The word I like to use is, it's scripted. 
which if something is scripted, technically it is rigged, but just hear me out, hear me out. I think the officials are told before these big time games, hey, this is the team we want to win. And if it's kind of close within seven, 10, 14 points, maybe just throw this one certain team that we want to win a couple calls here and there. That's only if it's close. However, if it's a complete blowout, I don't even think they're going to do any of that because there's no point of it. You see what I'm saying? There's no point of giving, let's just say in this case and scenario, the 49ers a bunch of calls if they're down by 28 because it's not going to matter too much. But I do believe if it is close, these refs, they lean a certain team's way. I'm very open-minded when it comes to this discussion and topic. Me, five years ago, I wouldn't even be having the conversation and give you some perspective. As far as it goes for the players being involved in this script or whatever you want to call it, the rigging, I just have a hard time believing that. The reason I have a hard time believing it is no players anywhere have came out and stated, oh yeah, they gave me a script or the NFL's rigged. You haven't seen it. And if these players were told to throw an interception, to fumble a ball, drop a couple passes here and there, they would have already leaked out that information. Why do I believe they leak out that information? Because after you retire, you have nothing to lose. They have all the money in the world. Why wouldn't they leak it out? I want you to really think about this. Y'all know Antonio Brown. That dude's a straight up psychopath. It's crazy what CTE has done to him and his brain. With all the crazy stuff he's done and said, he hasn't said anything about the NFL being scripted or rigged. That's why I don't believe the players are involved, but the officials, oh yeah, they're most definitely involved. But, and I have a big but, remember the kicker is the game has to be close. If it's not close, it doesn't matter. That is my standpoint, or I guess you shall say my conspiracy theory on the NFL being rigged, scripted, whatever you want to call it. And I've watched the NFL more this year than I probably ever have in my life. And what I've seen just from this year alone, there's definitely some weird stuff that happens in these NFL games that you don't see at the collegiate level. College football isn't rigged. I don't care what anybody says. Your favorite team can lose, but it's not rigged. I've watched so many college football games and I haven't seen a single thing that points to, oh, this game is rigged. Yeah, there's been a couple bad calls made here and there, but that's refs. They're human. They're gonna make some mistakes. But the NFL? It's just different, man. If you know, you know. And the reason I have an easier time coming to terms with it may be slightly scripted is just due to the fact it's all entertainment. Seriously, think about it. The NFL is no different from the Roman circus many years ago. What'd they do in the Roman circus? Everybody got together in this big, what would you call it? Is it a coliseum? Something like that. They got in this big coliseum and they got entertained for hours. What do we do in the NFL? Everybody gets into a big stadium for hours and they get entertained. It's the same thing. It's entertainment. And I've seen recently a lot of people state that the NFL is just like the WWE. And even if it is scripted, let's say the news came out, obviously it's, they're not going to officially state this, but if the news came out that, yeah, the NFL scripted and rigged, I wouldn't be too mad because people know the WWE is real and they still watch that. It's entertaining. And I still think about this. That pass interference on the Eagles in last year's Super Bowl, that was total BS. Even till this day, I think about that. Let the guys play. What are we doing throwing a flag on some ticky-tacky call? But it makes sense, doesn't it, for Patrick Mahomes to get another Super Bowl and get one step closer to chasing the GOAT and Tom Brady. Think about it. It's good for the NFL. It's good for college football when you have these quote-unquote dynasties and you have these great quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes. Why is it great? Because it brings in more views because... It's not that they're getting more fans, it's they're getting more hate watchers. People tune into the Chiefs games just to root against them. Same thing with Alabama. People tuned into Alabama football games the past 15 years, not to root for them, but to watch them lose, hoping they'd lose. It's really good for the NFL to have a dynasty like the Chiefs have right now. There's many more things I could say, but we'll end it off with this. If some crazy things happen in these games tomorrow, you bet your best bet I'm making a video tomorrow night. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh,